does this change how you view me as a person? Because personally, it changes how I view myself. If I talk about it more, it's just not gonna end up well. It's a scary world out here and I'm scared of everything and everyone, basically. This is actually so embarrassing. If I just own it, then I think it'll be less embarrassing. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's the third Vlogmas. I'm so excited. Can you guess where I am right now? Make your guesses. Leave a comment down below. I'll give you eight seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You guessed it right. We're at Michael's right now. I'm not shopping for ribbon or for anything like silly fun. I'm just gonna get some yarn because I got two orders for the same hat. I think the yarn's half off or the Michaels app was lying to me. It's only like five o'clock and I feel like the whole day went by already. I didn't even do anything. I went to work, I went to the gym and I'm here. <sighs> Oh no, what yarn do I need? I forgot immediately. This always happens. Okay, I got these three yarn, but it's buy one, get one half off, and I need to get another one. Maybe I'll get another beige, because I use beige a lot. I don't know. I like this purple fuzzy one, also is on sale. It's a win-win. Hey guys, it's the next day. I'm gonna go to the mall right now, just to get a couple presents for Christmas. I'm taking my vitamins. These are the ones that I use. They taste really good. I don't know if they do anything, but they are yummy. Also, it's Taylor Swift's birthday. So look at my outfit. I'm wearing the Speak Now Sherpa jacket. I don't know if it's still available, but it's the koi fish one. It's so cute. And I'm wearing my Gap hat, my favorite jeans, and my Adidas shoes. I'm wearing orange socks to match the orange in the fish. So cute. And I need to go to Target to return this shirt. So doing a little bit of shopping, a little bit of errands today. made it. <laughs> I don't think that's any better. Driving took like 35 minutes. It was horrible. I almost got into like two car crashes. Car crashes? Car crashes? Car crashes? I'm being dramatic, but like I'm so tired just from driving. Like I want to go home now. And also this mall is like three stories or is it four stories? So I'm going to be here forever. At least I have a cute little steering wheel. What is this called? A nozzle? A nozzle? I don't know what this is called, but there's a ribbon on it, so it's, it makes me happy. Okay, stores I want to go to so I don't forget. Victoria's Secret. I forgot the Cupa! Okay. Okay, where else do I want to go? I would like to go to Sephora just to look, though. Like, I just want to go, like, maybe to put some perfume on. I'm just going to go off a of vibe. There's also a person staring at me right now. A whole family. I have to go. I'm scared. <gasps> oh, wait. Let's put on some lipstick. Rare Beauty, obviously. I had a dream last night that I met Selena Gomez and Britney Spears and Olivia Rodrigo. And also Eddie was a cat and he kept falling. I don't know what that was about. Okay, let's go in. They're playing Enchanted right now. And I'm literally wearing Speak Now merch. Do they know? Okay, I got home and I started crocheting because I have to make like three of these hats. Here's the first one. Super cute though. I just need to make two more. I'm a little bit tired. I've just been watching podcasts while I crochet. It's my favorite thing to do because I can like multitask, but I don't have to be like looking at the screen 24-7 so that I can like focus on my crochet. Favorite podcast right now. Circle time. Pretty basic. Wild till nine. New heights. There's another one. I'm just forgetting it. I do like Cody Ko's podcast and Brittany Broski's. Yes. Okay. So I finished crocheting that last hat and also I like started with the second one But I'm packing my bags right now for tomorrow because I have work But I want to go to the gym before work tomorrow I don't know if I'm going to but I want to try to run a 5k on the treadmill The most I've run consistently was two miles I don't even know if it was two miles I just tell myself it was But I just want to see what my time would be I'm thinking it'll be like ugh, That's a lot of running 30 something minutes 35 38 I don't know I've never run a marathon. I was in like elementary school and I wanted to throw up afterwards and it was like only one mile. At Airy today, one of the things I got is top. I think it's really cute for like working out. It's from Offline by Airy. It's like a cropped like workout shirt. I like the arm. It says offline. So I was thinking I'll wear this, like a skirt. This white Lululemon skirt. It's a little bit wrinkly. Or these hot pink 
Hotty Hots. I got this one for my birthday, I think. It's another skirt. I love this color. It looks so pretty on. These two together, these are so cute. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be 43 degrees in the morning tomorrow. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I'll bring this jacket too. I also need to do my head of freckles tonight because if you didn't know, my freckles are fake. I'm a fraud, okay? Okay, I fear if I don't go to sleep in the next three minutes, I'm not gonna wake up in time. I'm doing my freckles. I don't know if these are gonna turn out good because I'm being so messy with it right now. Is that fine? I'm too tired for this. Hello. It's definitely later than I wanted it to be, but I was tired. It's 7.20 right now, I'm getting my shoes on. All I need to do now is fill up my water bottle. I'm always forgetting something, it's very annoying. I'm here. I'm also like really tired, but I'm gonna go in. Hopefully I can do this. Yeah, that's all, that's all I have to say. Wish me luck. back to the car right now. I think I'm actually gonna be on time today. Usually I'm a little bit late for work, but it's okay. I think I ran the 5K. 5K sounds so like scary, but oh my God, did I park this far back? It like wasn't horrible. Like I didn't feel like I was dying afterwards. Like when I was in elementary school and did the one mile marathon, I felt like I was dying. Hey guys, I'm going to work right now. I am walking into the building. It's so cold outside, but it's only like 50 degrees. I brought my water, because I'm trying to drink two of these a day, which is like 80 ounces. And I was doing pretty good, except for yesterday. I don't even think I drank a whole one. Hi guys, it's the next day. I finished the two crochet hats. I need to make a third one, but I don't need to ship it out until like three days, so I have time. So I'm writing the thank you notes. So literally all I did yesterday was, I cannot multitask, was I went to work and I came home, I took a nap and I crocheted. I didn't even go to Michael's because I haven't, like, needed it. So I was like, if I can just hold back on that, I will. That's all I did yesterday. I was so tired after running. I did not think running would be that tiring. Turns out it is. If you're curious on my time, I did so much better than I thought I would do. I was, like, aiming for, like, 35 minutes for 3.1 miles. And I ended up with 32 minutes and 29 seconds. I was pushing myself, though, because I am vlogging. I probably could have ran for more. I probably stopped like five times. I just took to walk for like 20 seconds because I was so exhausted. I still feel like I can barely run a mile. I also need to send out this because someone bought it since the last video. Also, I'm being quiet, sorry. <laughs> the cutest like galaxy sweater ever. It's gonna go to a great home. They're gonna wear it more than I do. I've worn it like in total probably three times. Maybe that's even pushing it. I don't even know. I'm so happy with the hats though. They're so adorable. And they should arrive before Christmas. Like if you're seeing this and you wanna get a hat for Christmas, I think if you order now, it should come in time. I mean, I'll just like rush it out, but wait time lapse. I need to package these orders. Here are my little babies. This is the sweater and the two hats are right here. When I get back, I think I want to change into comfy pajamas and crochet and that's it. Do you see this? My hair is wavy. <gasps> oh my gosh. My hair is getting so wavy, guys. Does this change how you view me as a person? Because personally, it changes how I view myself. I saw a TikTok where there was this person they were talking about how your hair texture changes like every 10 years or like every 15 years. Maybe mine's changing. This is like such a big deal for me because I'm not kidding you. I've wanted wavy hair my entire life. And I think this is the closest I'll ever get to it. I washed my hair this morning and I didn't do anything. <laughs> it's also just like so cute with like the layers growing out because when I first cut layers, like my haircut, I did myself. Cut the layers, I cut like everything, the bangs myself. Like originally they were like super choppy, but that's what I was going for. It was so hard to style my hair because I had choppy layers and they like weren't that cute but like i still go through phases like oh my gosh i want to cut my hair to here but like i shouldn't do that i don't know who is like inside of my brain right now maybe it's olaf i think olaf is in my brain he keeps telling me cut your hair short you want a bob and i'm like no i don't but also i'm just so indecisive that's a whole separate thing though like that's i can't make any decision for the life of me it's horrible actually if anyone has any ideas or any tips on how to be decisive let me know okay i'm gonna go post office now
Goodbye. Hey guys, it's a little bit later. I have no idea when I recorded last. Right now it's like nighttime and I'm redoing my lips because we're gonna have a sleepover. I'm so excited. I asked y'all on Instagram to send me some questions. So if you're not already following, follow me on Instagram. Hopefully you can like get to know me a little bit better. I feel like on YouTube, I have not done that good of a job at like introducing myself almost. And also right now I'm wearing ribbons in my hair, obviously. I'm wearing this really cute PJ set from Victoria's Secret. While you're watching this, I really encourage you to get a snack, get some water. And also today, I watched the Barbie movie just now, actually. I just felt inspired to just share girl power across the world. Now, let's get to the Q&A. Oh my god. I have a list of questions that you guys have asked me and also I threw in a couple that I needed to add because I feel like it's help you get to know me better. Everyone drink your water. First fun fact about me, two years ago I had kidney stones because I didn't drink enough water. And then I got surgery. And then I went to the ER like three times. It was not fun. I don't recommend it. Everyone get cozy right now. It's a rule, okay? The first question I have is asked by me. How old are you and what is your real name? Sorry to break this to you. Juniper Shrub is not my real name. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't say my real name online. I don't really have a plan to like announce my real name because there's like no reason for it. It'll just be a secret forever maybe. So I am 18 years old. Well, actually I'm 18 and a half now. I think I finally feel 18 though because when I first turned 18, it was because it's scary it's so scary turning 18 being a woman it's a scary world out here and I'm scared of everything and everyone basically what was your first job now if you don't know I am employed now <laughs> but my very first job it was in like 2020 and I had an Etsy shop it's actually the same exact one that I have right now I sold jewelry I still do actually I was like 14 okay somebody asked for my skincare routine but literally all my skincare routine is is Curology Curology I love you. I recommend Curology so much. I've used Curology since like middle school, I feel like. Like my prescription has tretinoin. Rank Taylor Swift albums. Okay, now I'm not lying. People actually did ask this. Okay, so I think I'll go off memory. This could be wrong though. Number one, reputation. Number two, speak now. Number three, folklore. I can't do this from like my brain. There's like too many albums. I literally forgot my ranking, but I think it's gonna be then Lover, then Taylor Swift, like debut original. I know my bottom three albums are probably gonna be don't hate me. Okay, don't hate me. I literally can't say it. I can't say this. I feel like someone's going to come to my door and attack me. No one's out there, but that might change, I feel like. My top four favorite albums in general, in no particular order, Folklore, Reputation, Speak Now, Guts. Guts is so good. Every single song in Guts is how I feel. It might be my number one album of all time. And a couple people asked, when did you start being a Swifty? Because if you know, on Instagram, on TikTok, I am a very loud and a very vocal Swifty because she's my entire personality. I love her. T to answer this question, I'm gonna put it frank. Okay, April 1st, 2023 was the first day that I labeled myself as a Swifty. It's like kind of recent. I don't want to hear anything like, oh my God, oh. I've watched every single interview. I've seen every single look she's done. I know all of her songs. Actually, no, there's a couple songs, probably like less than 10 that I purposely don't listen to. Either it's too sad or I just kind of like want a surprise. If I'm ever bored one day, I want to have a brand new song to listen to. My favorite song is, oh, oh my God. Okay, I love the song, Me. But people hate the song Me, and it really just like puts a damper on my happiness overall. I say Me is my number two song, and my number one song is The Story of Us, but in reality, I think they're tied. Okay, moving on, favorite thing in your room. Now this one I actually, I've only shown this to probably like three people in real life besides my family. It's not Betty here. I do love Betty though. She is like top five things in my room. We need to talk about this more. Do people still sleep with like stuffed animals or blankets? I'm not crazy for this. You're crazy for this, because I do. I sleep with a blanket. Okay, I've had her ever since I was born. My mom made it. It's a quilt. It has Tinkerbell on it, bugs on it. It has tiaras on it. It's like super ratty and disgusting. So I literally cannot show you. Actually, I'll show you a little bit. This is actually so embarrassing. But if I just own it, then I think it'll be less embarrassing. Here's a little snippet. Please be nice, okay? Please be nice. I am her. She is me. Her name is Blanky. I would say, hey, Blanky. So like, if there was ever a fire in my house, the number one thing I'd bring, it wouldn't be my phone, it wouldn't be my computer, any of my valuables, I would bring my blanket. Style inspirations or any advice on how to get your perfect style or to make cute outfits? Good question. That was like five questions in one, but let's pretend it's only one question. Style inspirations, I'll talk about like people, Taylor Swift, Olivia Rodrigo, like Gossip Girl, Mean Girls, but also just like Pinterest. I love Pinterest. If you're trying to find a new style, if you want to 
find clothes that you like, but like you don't know what you like, go to Pinterest. It helps me out so much. I have so many boards on Pinterest. That's how I find most of like my favorite like, shoes and accessories and outfit like inspiration. It's, like things that I add to my outfits to make me feel more comfortable for me to like have a more fashionable style, I guess. For every outfit basically, I either do like a hairstyle or I add a hat, sometimes both. I really love doing hairstyles. Ever since I was little, I've like cool braids or like hairstyles on myself or my American Girl dolls because I love American Girl dolls. Yes, you can like use shoes to make your outfit cool as well. I just like stick to my like favorite three shoes, which would be like my Doc Martens, my Adidas, grandpa tennis shoes or like uggs that covers all bases really advice on being a girl this is half not related the barbie movie saved me in a way because i just feel like before i was being fed all these like, stereotypes of like what i should be what i shouldn't be and like what's good and what's bad and what i shouldn't do as a woman and what i should do oh my god it was so much and i felt like i was trapped and i couldn't i couldn't enjoy things like wearing pink because I feel like I would be falling into what people are telling me to be even if I did enjoy it. Except after watching the Barbie movie, I learned that I can still like the cliche things like ribbons and like pink and still my words and my thoughts and my opinions would still matter. Like it wouldn't, it doesn't take away from me as a person and it still makes my voices still just as valid even if I didn't like those things. I do have my favorite quotes that I wrote down so maybe this can inspire you. I live by these quotes and a lot of them change the way that I see the world in a way. I don't even know. Number one, don't save the candles. A lot of people, if you get a cool candle, you never want to burn it because you either want to wait for the perfect time or you just want to use it as decor and it'll get all dusty then eventually like you'll throw it away. Life is not worth waiting for. You know what I mean? You want to do something really cool, don't wait until like the perfect time because there probably will never be a perfect time. Like another thing besides candles was like stickers. Like you save all these stickers to put on like the perfect thing, but there will never be a perfect thing. You'll just never use them. But there's something that I really want to do. Really work hard to like not be scared of that. Also leads me to my next quote. What would you do if you weren't afraid? In a world where you're not afraid of anything, there's no like scariness in the world, what would you do? And do that. Like if you can force yourself to do that, then I feel like, the, like honestly, you are unstoppable. Oh my gosh. Okay, these three quotes kind of go like together. Don't apologize for your enthusiasm. I hate when people apologize for their excitement or for their happiness, even if you feel like you have to, because sometimes I do, because I feel like people around me might judge me and that sucks so bad. Overall, I am a very optimistic person. I'm a very happy, upbeat person, especially towards things that I really like or like my hobbies. There's people in your life that make you feel like your excitement is something to be like ashamed of or to be embarrassed of. That is my number one like biggest pet peeve or like thing that annoys me the most. I feel like one of the biggest things that you can be robbed of is your happiness not like literally like people will not like literally take that from you but if people like make you feel lesser than for being excited about something like oh my god next one love loudly it inspires your love and your enthusiasm towards something could inspire someone else to feel that exact same way about either the same thing or something else for example when i post silly dancing tiktoks that could inspire someone else to do the same thing which i've seen and they're so cute the last one is you are what you love i just think it's such a sweet quote taylor swift said it meaning it's perfect and amazing just think as a society we should love more hate less last quote oh my god this one is so good someone's beauty is never the absence of your own two separate completely separate things could still be beautiful and that would not mean one is less beautiful than the other not everything has to be a competition between two these two are both so adorable and perfect in my eyes one is not better than the other one is not ugly no matter what you may say Okay, next question. Favorite part about Christmas. Now, I really love Christmas. Kind of like always my entire personality, but I really also love winter time. I love it being cold outside. I love heated blankets. I love fuzzy socks. I love the fashion. I also love scarves and hats. Also, I love presents. And that's not because I'm just like super materialistic. Gift giving is like my number one love language. I think it's so sweet and so thoughtful. Adorable. Like if you give someone a present or if they give you a present, that's just like the cutest thing. It's like little squirrels like if a squirrel gave another squirrel an acorn that's how i feel when i give someone a present just giving you a little acorn show how much i appreciate you as a person also christmas music need i say more do you like school and how do you get motivation for school good question okay whenever i was in high school which was like 
three months ago, I feel like. Towards the end, I just like speed ran it because I was so done with it. It was really hard though because I did online school for the last year of high school. Nobody like knocking on your door being like, did you do all of your classes today? Except that was actually my mom. It's like no like routine. There's no set schedule. Like you are making your own schedule. And it's like difficult to go from like waking up at 6 a.m. every day, getting out at 4 to being like, oh, maybe I want to sleep until 2 p.m. That's what I did. It was not good at all. And do I like school? At this point in time, no. But I also like didn't like in-person school at all. Honestly, in-person school to me was worse than online school because I didn't talk to anybody. It wasn't fun. I woke up too early. The school didn't smell good. I'm super particular with like smells. I don't know why. I hope one day to like school. Next question is what is your ethnicity? I get this question a lot. I feel like, okay, what actually am I? Colombian, Mexican, Spanish. Spanish, Native American, I think that's it. So they wanna do like an ancestry DNA, 23andMe thing to see like what I really am. A lot of the time people think that I'm Filipino, but I am not. Thoughts on dating? That was the entire question. Um, no. I will not elaborate further, I don't think. I'll just say, I don't even know like how to explain it besides saying that is the actual last thing I wanna do in my life right now. Next question, favorite movie? Barbie movie. I love Margot Robbie so much. I love America Ferrera. All the Barbies were amazing. The Kens did good too. Favorite K-pop group. Okay, I need to get back into my K-pop era. My two fake groups have not had a comeback yet. So I'm waiting for that. Twice, I love Twice so much. And also New Jeans. Those are my favorite groups right now. Three biases, okay? I cannot pick between them. Nayeon, Momo, and Jungyeon are my favorites. And then in New Jeans, I have no bias. Favorite artists. Also like my top five, if I can even think of five. Okay, Taylor Swift, Gracie Abrams, Olivia Rodrigo, Sabrina Carpenter. I really want to get into Renee Rapp. I have like three of her songs on my playlist. I really like, wait, what is it, Pretty Girls? And Talk Too Much and Tummy Hurts. Those are good. No, Boy Genius. Favorite Gracie songs are Two People, Camden, Long Sleeves, I Miss You, I'm Sorry, 21, and I Should Hate You. I feel like I'm missing one though. Where do you see yourself in five years? Okay, wait, I am, <laughs> I said I'm 21, I'm not 21. I am 18 now. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh my God, I can't even think that far ahead. Where was I five years ago? 17, 16, 15, 14. I was 13? Honestly, I would love to answer this with something like, oh my gosh, I would be in college, I would have this job, be in this location, but I literally don't know. But this is like a reoccurring thing in my brain. In my life is like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. That is okay. I don't know, okay? I don't know where I'm gonna be in five years. And that's okay if you don't know either. I just, if I talk about it more, it's just not gonna end up well. Next question. What do you do when you feel sad, overwhelmed, or anxious? <laughs> like right now? Let's think, what do I do? Well, first I listen to happy music that usually cheers me up. I maybe take a shower, get some cute PJs or I go to the gym. I'm becoming a gym rat, guys. Um, no, that's a lie. I'm not a gym rat. Oh my God, journaling, journal. I do love to journal if I'm feeling, I need to work something out. Overall, just know whatever you're going through right now, you will get past it. Like think about yourself like five years ago. Whatever happened then, it's past now for the most part. I think time heals a lot of things. It will get better with more knowledge. I love journaling and I love therapy. How do you stay so positive and upbeat? A lot of this, I think, just like my personality, I think overall I am a very upbeat person, just like normally. Also, I don't know how to like say this besides the fact that I just get excited really easily. I do love that about myself. I love that if I see a piece of corn, <laughs> I think of this. I saw a piece of corn like on a table and I was like, oh my gosh, it's a little piece of corn. Like, what is he doing there? I admire that I find joy and happiness in like the littlest of things. <gasps> oh my gosh, favorite books. Okay, I need to read more. I really want to read um, Britney Spears' autobiography. Biography, what's it called? My favorite book of all time though, it's an orange cover. It's, a, it's the subtle art of not giving a bleep. It honestly helped me out so much. And I feel like I partially think the way that I do right now because of that book. Littlest things in life that could like bring you down, like could make you be like, oh my God, today's the worst day ever. It doesn't matter. Stop letting like you stubbing your toe lead to you having the worst day of your life. Like learn to laugh at like the dumb things because it's not worth your energy to be 
all worked up about the littlest thing ever. Within the past year, I've just learned to like not care about like a dumb comment. Usually I delete bad comments because I don't need that negativity in my life. It's also just like fun to laugh at things. I love laughing. Laughing is so much fun. I'm gonna drink some more water because I've been here for like 45 minutes. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, Miss. I hope you have the best day of your life. Comment down below a heart emoji if you're still listening. I will reply. I'm like, thank you so much. My next Vlogmas video will be in five days from now. It'll be the second before the last. Like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.